Today we're going to be going over the first murder in the Bible. The murder between Cain and Abel. And we're also going to be going over the real reason why Cain killed Abel. Now most people believe that the reason why Cain killed Abel was because of jealousy. But you would be surprised to know that it is a little bit more complicated than that and at the same time is a bit more simple than that. What does this have to do with Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? Let's find out. Most of us have heard the story of Cain and Abel, a story of one brother killing another brother. Now there are various different reasons why it is important to understand this story, but one of the main reasons is because when we get a better understanding of this story, it will help us understand human nature. And I think that when you fully understand this story, not only will you understand people better, but you will also understand some of the behaviors and actions that you yourself take towards other people. I'm going to ask you guys a question for you to answer in the comments, but I'm asking you to really be honest with this question. And the question is, has there ever been a time where something good happened in the life of somebody that you know, but instead of being happy for them, you started getting negative feelings. It was almost like you were upset at the fact that something good was happening to this person. And I think that if we're honest with ourselves, I think that most of us will admit that this has happened to us at one point or another, even if people would consider you to be a good person. All right, I'm gonna share with you guys something that happened to me in high school regarding this exact topic. Now, when this happened, it really did leave me sad and doubting myself. But before I tell you about this, I want to share with you guys one of the greatest haters in anime history, and that is Dio from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is an anime that takes its cues from Fist of the North Star. And I say that it takes its cues because all of these guys are pretty much buff bodybuilders that are on steroids. And in this anime, we are first introduced to the character Dio. Now, Dio, unfortunately, grows up poor with an alcoholic father. And eventually, Dio does end up killing his father by poisoning him. As the story continues, Dio is actually adopted by a rich family, the Joe Stars. Now the Joe Stars take Dio in, and this is when we start seeing a rivalry between Dio and Jonathan. Now Jonathan is the son of the father of the family that takes Dio in. As we watch the anime, we learn that Dio hates Jonathan for the mere fact that this kid has had a good life. He has never had to struggle, and in fact, he is often seen eating steak with wine. Now, Dio also hates Jonathan because he is a nice guy and a pretty honorable person. This hate drives Dio to try to make Jonathan's life a live in hell. I mean, this guy kills Jonathan's dog, he steals his girlfriend's first kiss, he eventually kills his father and turns all of his attention to trying to kill Jonathan, the same way that Cain killed Abel. 1 John 3, 11 and 12 say this, This is the message you have heard from the beginning. We should love one another. We must not be like Cain, who belonged to the evil one and killed his brother. And why did he kill him? Because Cain had been doing what was evil and his brother had been doing what was righteous. John says here that Cain's actions were evil. And because Cain's actions were geared towards things that did not glorify God, he hated Abel because Abel was a righteous man that glorified God. In other words, evil will always hate good because of what it represents. Dio hated Jonathan because Jonathan was everything that Dio wasn't. In that same way, Cain hated Abel because Abel was everything that Cain wasn't. 
Now in high school, there was a girl that came up to me and told me that she didn't like me. I don't remember the entire situation, but what I remember is, is that we were working on a project and I'm sitting at the table with a couple of people and out of nowhere, this girl comes up to me and she tells me that she doesn't like me. And my first reaction, right, I was confused, but my first reaction was to ask her, well, why not? And she didn't have a reason. She just said that she simply didn't like me. And it was one of the weirdest situations that I have ever experienced in my life. I mean, this girl literally had no reason for not liking me. She just didn't like me. And I share this because there will be times in our lives where people will not like us and we haven't really given them a reason to not like us. Now, John says something interesting in the following verse. He says, don't be surprised when the world doesn't like you. So at least for us as Christians, there's something for us to understand here. And that is just because you are a Christian, there will be people around you that just simply don't like you for this one specific fact. Now, the interesting thing about the verses that we read is that when John brings up Cain and Abel, he is trying to point out something very specific about the human heart. He is trying to show us that faced with enough good, our hearts can turn bitter because we are seeing a reflection from the other person about the things that we are lacking. Check out what Pastor John Piper says about this. But evidently, bad rub up against enough good, there can be so much anger and so much bitterness. We're going to get rid of this good. I'm going to shoot this mirror until it is shattered. The human heart that is falling short in some way is so easily angered by people who are making progress where we're failing. We get resentful. Don't want to be around them because they show up our bad habits. Our bad attitudes are exposed when we're around able types. Look, guys, I'm bringing up this topic not because I think that you're going to go out there and try to kill some people or anything like that, but more so for us to be mindful of how our human hearts work and how easily we can become bitter towards someone that is doing the right thing. And this happens not so much because we don't like the person, but it's more because as we see their actions or how they're living their lives, we realize all of the things that we are failing at, all of the things that we ourselves are lacking. My hope with this video is that when this time comes into your life, and I guarantee you that it will come into your life, that you don't turn bitter, that you don't start having these negative thoughts towards this other person, but instead that you would look at yourself, look at what's going on inside you that's causing you to feel this way and work towards the things that you are lacking and ultimately improve yourself and your own life. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. As always, please make sure to share, like, and subscribe. And as always, I just want to remind you that we must persevere.